Hi, so I'm Penny Jones from Data Center Dynamics, and I'm here with Neil Rasmussen, Senior Vice President of Innovation with ABC by Schneider. How are you today, Neil? Very well, thanks, Penny. And that's good. Um, so your discussion, you were talking about the end of the traditional raised floor. Um, I'll change some your vision for what would be the end of the raised floor. Can you talk us through the idea of this and I guess how, how you came about it and what the idea incorporates in total? Well, there's, there's two issues here. One is the raised floor itself, but the focus that I've particularly been talking about is the end of raised floor cooling as we know mm -hmm. it. Because the raised floor itself has other properties besides cooling. It's used to run cables and other purposes. But raised floor cooling is, the, is what I feel is the major problem, despite the fact that n over 90% of all new data centers and even a higher percentage of existing data centers use this approach, it's fundamentally flawed and some of the changes we're going to see as we move into uh, cloud-based computing are, are going to make that approach even less efficient and burdensome and as a result I think soon we'll ha view that method, the ra traditional raised floor cooling, as even an irresponsible way to make data centers. So how did you come to this conclusion yourself? What did APC? Was it, um, you know, was it going into customers' data centers? Was it doing your own research? Um, how did you come? Well, it's a, it's a bit of both. I mean, we, we uh, have watched customers creatively try and solve various kinds of problems in the data centers, including whether it's security, provisioning, you know, there are problems of are people crawling around under my raised floor. I mean, every kind of problem you can imagine related to the raised floor, weight, earthquake resistance, so many people started trying to eliminate that. And over time, it also became clear to us that there was uh, a lot of theoretical gains in the performance of the data center from a point of view of uh, density, ability to handle density, efficiency, and now the ability to handle these dynamic power variations that we asso see associated with the latest generation of energy managed servers. And so there, it's a mix. And, and so people are already doing this. It's not like we're proposing something new. Mm -hmm. It's just that a lot of people have been all doing it in different experimental ways, developing their own strategies for doing it. And we're trying to articulate that we believe this is kind of the end of this period of doing it the old way. And now there are emerging some standard ways uh, that are superior for doing it. So are we looking at a lot of APC stand with its technologies going forward, being around this idea um, of being able to work without the raised floor? Well, it's, I think it's more than, it, we have made all of our products for the past, say, six to eight years that none of them require a raised floor anymore. We make no products that require a raised floor. Everything we make, power, cooling systems, everything is designed to work on a raised floor or a hard floor. It doesn't matter. So we've, al we've already understood this trend was happening. I think what the, what's, in, what's important now is that we're seeing some new requirements of the IT systems, particularly this dynamic power variation issue that's actually causing us to need to accelerate the move away from the traditional ways. Um, I, I was sitting in a, on your talk. I saw a few, a few heads shaking. What do you think your opponents will say about this? Or those people that are a bit more conservative about their, their current approach to... Well, I, I, you know, five years ago, the idea of getting rid of the res, raised floor was a brave idea, and there was a few people doing it. But uh, there's more and more adherence to this. There's more and more people who've gained experience doing other approaches, uh, hard floor, can, uh, hot aisle contained type solutions for cooling data centers and economizer based solutions and and so there's a lot more comfort than there has been in the past there are certainly some uh, you know some people who feel wedded to the raised floor for whatever reason because they've been doing it for 20 years they're comfortable with it they feel they understand it but I, and and I understand I appreciate that and then there's something to be said for having a lot of experience with something and that's the problem we need to solve, is we need to make it so that it's a stand, the, the more uh, advanced approaches that are more efficient become standardized and routine enough 
that people are comfortable doing them the same way they're comfortable making the traditional raised floor data center that, as I said, we've been making for 45 years, virtually unchanged. How, how long do you think it will take before the industry takes up on this idea or it becomes a mature? I, I'm shocked a lot of times at how slowly adoption occurs, uh, even when there's a compelling argument Sometimes, you know, I think there's so many forces now accelerating this having to do with uh, regulations involving the use of energy, incentives for reducing the energy use, and as I said, the changes in IT technology that are driving this dynamic power consumption that are going to amplify the defects in the current method, yet despite the compelling arguments in favor of moving yesterday, we continue to see the vast majority of data centers use conventional uh, raised floor cooling and mostly for the wrong reasons. I mean, they, again, it's, it's an inertia thing. It's a, uh, people are unaware that there's other approaches and th that puts the burden on us to try and communicate and help people understand what are the benefits of moving away from this, you know, time proven approach. And, uh, and, and I think the arguments are compelling and uh, many of the uh, people who uh, come to conferences like this one that we're at are already understand these issues. But they're, they're just a small fraction of the total population of people building data centers today.